I'm a hustler, baby. I'm a hustler, baby. I know heartbreaks. I know setbacks. Bitch, if I crap out, I'ma get back. I know ups and downs. You know I've been around, but to me, it's all a part of the game. Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome back to my channel. We are back with another week of Raising Canaan. Top 10 WTF moments, recap predictions, all that good stuff. And y'all... This episode has some shit going on, so I am not going to talk too much. We just going to get right into it, okay? This week's episode was entitled, Stay in Your Lane. Number one. I told y'all on the last episode that Kanan and Marvin was going to be doing some bullshit this episode, and boy, was I right. So, Kanan and Marvin have started their own operation, and they hustling outside of gas stations and on freeways in the white people neighborhoods, and disguising it as thumbnails, and y'all... Just two idiots working together. Marvin and Kanan are both just dumb. Just dumb. Like, the fact that Marvin is taking advice from Kanan to do this operation, the fact that Kanan is working with his dumbass uncle to do this, like, it's beyond me. It's really beyond me. And the fact that they going behind Rock back doing this. Oh, y'all, let's just get into the scene where um, Kanan and Marvin workers were talking about how they can't stretch the crack no more because it's already been stepped on. And Kanan tell them that they gonna go ahead and cook the crack anyway and cut it with whatever the fuck they had to cut it with. And now everybody dying. All the crackheads, all the loyal customers are dying because they gave out testers and... These niggas think they about to keep this from Rock too. Obviously, like, you know, ain't nobody checking for the deaths of crackheads, but at the same time... It's plenty crackheads that y'all gave these out to. Talk about, we only gave out so many and... <sighs> this is not about to turn out well. It's about to be some fallout from this. Just like Marvin said, if these white people start falling out, they get in the electric chair. Like, y'all... Two idiot number two <laughs> psych bitch ain't nobody crying over you you little thieving ass you little crackhead ass i want to say like you know that's what she get but that would be wrong but girl you did still you did still and i did say that she was gonna turn into a crackhead i just feel bad for little juke juke because she really did care about that girl and nicole had her out there waiting Juke had her little dance moves down, had her suit, was ready, see, okay, was ready to come out as somebody's girlfriend, and her girlfriend done died. Y'all know the envelope that Nicole put in Jukebox book bag? They didn't show Jukebox finding that. So I wonder if Jukebox is gonna find that and then realize that those drugs was in there, are gone, and try to, like, put two and two together or something. Like, I really wonder. And I did also say on the last episode that Nicole Lass was going to end up stealing from Canon or Jukebox. I said it. I said it. I said it. I was on the money with that one. But, um, yeah. R.I.P. Nicole. Number three. Juliana is hooking Rock up with her cousin Connect. So, Juliana is a Dominican wife who works at the corner store where they're stashing their stuff. And Rock pulled up on her and got the information for her cousin so they can get a new Connect. And at the end of that conversation, Rock told her, like, look, mommy, you helping me. So if you need some help, let me know. And like I predicted in the past, I think that Juliana is going to pay Raquel and them to get the husband up out of there. Because they don't fuck with him anyway. He annoying and he be doing too much. Also, Rock, like I said, went to go meet with the new connect, hopeful new connect. He said he liked what she was talking about. And he told her that they will be in contact soon. So I'm eager to see where their relationship is going to go and how that's going to affect things with Neek and Dean and all that. Because if she bringing a new connect into their territory, that's going to get kind of Number crazy. four, Lulu is not a hitter. Like, why are y'all sending a little boy to do a man's job? Y'all, at the beginning of the episode, where he ran up on, what, what's his name, Warrell or something like that, some crazy ass shit, ran up on him, and old girl was just trying to get her box A. She was just trying to get some top, y'all, and Lulu busting in there blasting that thing, okay? And didn't even hit dude, didn't hit the girl, didn't hit the dude, just blasting. And then tried to say, oh, because Tech Nines is garbage. Is the Tech Nine garbage or are you garbage, Lulu? Because you do not get the job done. The only person you was capable of killing was a little kid that you done got drunk and got him some pussy. I'm sick of him. But then when Marvin, Lulu, and Rock was having a meeting 
and discussing this whole mishap and Marvin kept taking shots at Lulu, you could tell that's starting to breed some real resentment in Lulu, for real. Marvin, like, y'all should have called me to do it. Like, I should have been the one being the hitter, which he should have because Marvin... Lulu brought up the fact that he heard about Marvin's operation, but he thinks that it's Unique's operation. And Marvin quick like, oh, no, I ain't heard nothing about that. This nigga gonna get caught. I cannot wait until Kel find out that Marvin and Kanan is running this operation because she definitely gonna do something to Marvin's ass. I believe that. I believe that. I don't think it's a love Raquel to kill her brother. Number five. As I predicted, Symphony is back. So y'all, I'm starting to believe, listen, listen, he the police. And I'm starting to believe more and more that he just some cool dude that Rock is fucking on. Now, I might be wrong still, and this nigga might be the police, but uh, I don't want to let that theory die. So, I'm just saying he might still maybe be the police. But as of right now, we just don't say he's a good guy that Rock fucking on. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Davina and Kanan went on a double date with Rock and Symphony. Kanan wanted his mama and Symphony to reconcile, so he ended up calling Symphony and setting it up. And you know, they put their differences to the side and Rock led him back into her good graces. And they got to, you know, have a nice little dinner. And it was cute, it was real romantic. The men were being gentlemen, pulling out chairs, complimenting the women, holding their hands. And even Kanan said he would pay the bill, y'all. Hey, Symphony. I'm trying to really believe that you're not the police, but you're supposed to be a bartender and a teacher, and you, you lucky you having some money. So I don't know. I did think that was cute, though. Good little way for Rock to meet Davina, even though it's going to be a sad, sad case when they all find out that Davina was the real rat and not Scrap. And speaking of Scrap, my boy lost a kidney and an eye. <laughs> y'all, they fucked that nigga up. I did not expect all that. Sheesh. Ooh, and Rock just like, yeah, he's a soldier in the game. He know, he already know what it is. He good. Child, I don't, mm -mm, that's, I know I ain't about that life. And I, uh, 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 cause child, what benefits cover that? Number six, Detective Howard is not gonna stop. This nigga just will not come out and say for himself that he is Kanan daddy. I don't know why he keep pulling up on Kanan, telling this nigga to go talk to his mama. Like, you really are pressing it and you really want Rock to hop on your ass. I don't know how he think that he gonna get what he want out of this by doing that anyway. If anything, it's just going to agitate them. And I really do feel like this is gonna make Rock really want to kill this nigga. She's gonna find out this nigga sick or something. And she's really gonna pull up on this nigga and kill him. Or have him get killed or something. Like, Detective Howard is not gonna be past this season. That nigga's gonna be dead, okay? Mark my words. And then she up there telling Kane and oh no 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 don't listen to nothing that nigga say every time you see him walk the other way and blah 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 girl listen this nigga is getting suspicious because why would he keep saying that to him? Keep rolling up on him talking about some yeah she loved me we got history blah 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 met her when she was a little older than you blah 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 like boy you better shut up Detective Howard because you really forcing it. With your old ass how old is this nigga I still think that he was too old to be fucking with Rock back then number seven. So apparently the diner that everyone hangs out in is a neutral zone and nobody can get touched in there. So Unique took that upon itself to pull up on Lulu while Lulu was going to go pick up some dinner. And they sat down and talked and for some reason Unique thought he was going to be able to get Lulu to flip on Rock. <sighs> Lulu is clearly Rock's most loyal soldier. So that wasn't gonna happen you should have pulled up on marvin stupid ass if you was gonna do anything so you need to pull it up on lulu you know trying to get him to flip lulu revealed that he was the one who went and shot at warrior or whatever dude name is and Nick was making threats and promises it sounded like to me this nigga was telling him like look i give it a few months before rock and everybody around her is mopped up on the floor so you better get out while you can because you're the only smart one and i like niggas with an entrepreneurial spirit. And I feel like that was the one thing that Lou did like because he see how his brother keep taking jabs at him about wanting to do music. Oh, Chrissy Jones ass nigga. I feel like Lulu for a second was like considering it and was hearing what he was saying, but he would never give Neek the upper hand and cross his family like that. In that sense, I don't think, at least not right now. I ain't gonna lie. I think the most shocking part of this episode was Raquel up here talking to Symphony, talking about some, you wanna have a baby with me? Girl, what, what are you talking about? You trying to have a baby with this nigga? Talking about 
time off. She ain't about to leave the game no time soon. But eventually, she want to hand everything over to Lulu. Which, uh, they ain't looking like a good idea. Because this nigga is not no shooter. And the ops trying to get him to switch. So, whatever. But, girl, you, you trying to have a baby? Let me find out Rock really in love. For real, y'all. Because, girl, what is you even saying? What are you saying? This nigga the police. Okay, I'm going back to my theory. This nigga the police. This nigga's the police. Even though Symphony probably would be a good daddy, this nigga's the police. Rock, don't do it, girl. Run! Run the other way, bitch. Run! Number nine. Famous's song is making its rounds, and it is not looking good. So, not only did Davina hear it and ask Kanan about it, but when Rock and Lulu went to go meet up with the new Connect, his hitter knew the song. He was singing it, quoting it. Lulu was feeling that because, you know, he, you know, was a part of the making of the song. But, um... That's not a good look. That's not a good look at all. And Famous is about to get his ass in some shit he do not want to be in, y'all. Kanan went and confronted Famous, and Famous like, oh, you know, just, just say it's the music. It's just a song, you know. It's art. It's just that, and it's just this. And Kanan like, bruh, you are not living this life. Don't do this. Don't talk about my shit. If you want to talk about art, talk about some other shit. Don't, don't reference my life and what the fuck I got going on, okay? And Famous, you need to stop because... This shit is real, and I don't think he realized how real this shit is in the field. You better tighten up. You better tighten the fuck Number up. Number 10. All right, y'all, let's just get right into next week's preview. So the crew... Rock, Marvin, and Lulu... Are meeting up, and they sitting down talking, and Marvin is saying if they don't get a new connect soon, that they gonna need to just go ahead and close up shop. Then we see Detective Howard pulling up on Rock and confronting her and telling her that Kanan is up to no good in these streets and he got all the evidence that he need to bring his ass in. So I kind of think that he the one gonna tell Rock about the whole crackhead little thing because in the next couple scenes, you can see Detective Burke arresting one of Kanan's people and you see them like paying a crackhead for some information. That's what it looked like to me. So I think that... Rock gonna kind of find out from Detective Howard what Marvin and Kanan been up to. Because she did ask Kanan where he got that money from and she know that nigga be lying, so. Next, you see a clip of Kanan telling somebody, well, we sold outside the hood. Whatever that's supposed to imply. So? Then we see Jukebox at Nicole's funeral, R.I.P. Then we see Rock saying, I thought I raised you different. And then we see Kanan replying and saying, You should blame yourself. Then we see a clip of a jukebox crying about the life that they live. She's talking to Kanan and just, you know, saying like the place that they live and the life that they live is just no good. And then the final part, we see Unique. He rallying up his men. They look like they got some AKs. They got them little, what's the little firebomb things that you, I don't know what this shit is called, but they got them little, um, I don't know y'all, them little fire thing, explosive things that homemade little bombs or whatever. Got some of those and they look like they about to pull up on somebody somewhere and do something. I don't know who they pulling up on, but we already know that Unique is about to try to make good on all those threats he made to Lulu about fucking up they whole little shit. So, we gonna have to see. Things are heating up. This week's episode was definitely better than last week's episode. But I'm excited to see how this end of this season is gonna go because y'all... We getting closer and closer to the season finale and I know that they are gonna go out with a bang. So let me know down below what you thought of this week's episode and let me know what you predict is gonna happen in the upcoming episodes. And before you go, make sure you also like and subscribe and check out some other videos on my channel. Y'all feel the vibes. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's video and I'll see you next week. Bye. I'm a hustler, baby. Hey, y'all saw Kanan walking down the street like, make money, make, make money, make money, take, take money. <laughs>